North Star. This is Kristen Herman, fifth grade teacher at North Star Elementary School. Um, I am here today to talk to you about a lesson that I actually do with my kids about science, about starting and germinating seeds. It's creating your own um, hydraulic system inside a, inside a bag or even in a glove. So the first thing, I don't know about you all, but I have tons of seeds left over from years of, well, for me, failed gardening. Um, and so what I do is I just choose whatever seeds I want. Um, some of them are open, some of them not. Good fact for you. Um, if you freeze them, you can keep them year after year and you don't have to use them all, so you can save a little bit of money too. So I took some seeds that I want to start germinating before, um, before the last frost. And I chose peas. Easy peasy peas, see, already opened. And you can use as many peas as you want. I'm just choosing to do two, because I have a small house, so a small garden. So just two little peas, okay? I chose some sweet corn as well. And I just got two, uh, two seeds out from the corn as well. I don't know if you can see them or not, okay? Um, and then I chose some uh, string beans. I love string beans, one of my favorite vegetables. And of course I chose two as well. And then I'm also um, gonna start germinating some yellow squash, another favorite one. So choose whatever seed you want. You can do up to five in one bag. You just don't wanna clutter the bag because you wanna give the seed room to grow. You need some um, good old cotton balls. And then um, for me, because I want to remember what I put in the bags. I use just, I don't know if you can see that, um, a Ziploc bag, any size. I have snack bags with me today. Um, and I just put the name on the front of them um, for what I, what I want to start germinating. So it's a real simple process, real easy to do. Just take a cotton ball. I have um, extra large ones. And you're going to want to soak them in water and get them just really nice and soaked, okay? Then when you bring them up out of the water, just kind of squeeze out as much water as you possibly can, okay? As you can see, it's very moist, okay? The next step, take one seed, and you're just gonna fold it in to the cotton ball and then fold it over so that the seed is nice and snug inside. As you can see, there's still water dropping out. And then put it into your Ziploc bag. So you're gonna repeat that process for every, for every seed. Just dip. Squeeze out as much as you can. And wrap up the seed. The one thing you don't want to do is break the seed open. So be really careful that you don't break the seed open, okay? Then you put it into the bag. Once you have it in the bag, you're just going to seal it to the best of your abilities. And now the fun part, find a place to hang it. So you want to find a window that is in a sunny part of your house and then use a piece of tape and stick it up really good. Uh, let me see, see? Let me take you on a tour of my house real fast. Um, we are going to put it over here in the garden. Um, so you can see the outside. You're probably seeing my dog. Sorry. But you're going to want to tape it up really well so that it hangs and gets full sunlight. So, of course, right now, it's um, this is in the shady part of my house. But tomorrow, it'll be bright sun, and it'll get about eight hours of sunlight before the sun heads to the other part of my house. 
What will happen is as the sun heats up the water, it'll create the water cycle inside the bag. You'll be trapping the oxygen and the carbon dioxide in there, and it will continue, continually to be moist. And then after a couple of days, you're going to start seeing your, your seed sprout, and that's what's called germinating a plant. Once it's germinated, though, you are going to want to have to take it out, unwrap the cotton ball as much as you possibly can, and then pot it in soil, and then continue the growing process from there. If you have any questions, feel free to email me.